Hey everybody, welcome back to another of my movie poster collection series. Today is the letter H, which means we're going to cover a lot of my Halloween posters and, well, actually cool ones in general. And as I was reviewing them, I realized there's actually quite a few uh, H posters that I have. So I'm going to try and skim through... Uh, some of them but if you have any questions about any of them by all means just feel free to ask so the first one in my h collection is none other than halloween i lucked out on finding an original halloween poster many 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 years ago i don't mind how it looks in the picture here uh, it's actually in sort of a plastic sleeve so some of that glare is actually from the plastic over the poster and this is one from the first run of the film so there are two versions actually of the poster one was during the initial release of the film back in 1978 and then as it became much more of a success they had to reprint uh, more posters for it so there's actually two versions of it i mean they look almost identical but as far as i know this is from that first run and yes this is definitely what i'm not getting rid of next up is a lesson learned one um these are the lobby card set for halloween now before you get too excited like I did initially, uh, there is no lobby card set for Halloween. These are actually just fake. They are really, really cool though, as if, you know, someone had created them. Uh, I mean, someone did create them, but not the distributor or the advertising company for the film. There actually are no lobby cards for Halloween, so these are unfortunately are fake. Uh, lesson learned, but I still think they're cool. Uh, I would have preferred to have paid a fraction of the price. I learned to be very, very cautious about some of the stuff I buy. Next up in the Halloween ones, and that is for Halloween 2, an original Halloween 2 poster. Again, it's also one that in the picture is in plastic, so don't mind the glare from uh, the plastic cover. And I really love the Halloween 2 poster. I mean, as much as I do love the original poster, I also love this one just with the skull. Oh man, I just love that. Next up, we'll come to a surprise to probably none of you because I've shown it several times before, and that is my Halloween 3 poster. And I've been lucky enough to have it signed by I think at least all of the main people. There's a couple more people I would love to get on uh, this. You know, even if I never got anyone else on it, I think it's cool enough as is where I would feel pretty good about just having it framed and calling it a day. Next up is one you will see uh, in the room tour video for this, and that is the Mondo Halloween 3 poster. This was a limited run that I think was done for for maybe Texas Frightmare, possibly a couple years ago, but somehow I managed to get the Halloween 3 one. So very, very happy about that. And then one that I had mentioned in my flashback weekend video from last year, and that is I finally did get a Halloween 4 poster, which I was so happy to get. That was one I wanted for a long time. And then I have my Halloween 5 poster, which I lucked out on a couple years ago. Next up, the Halloween Curse of Michael Myers poster, which uh, again, God, I think I got that like super cheap. And then finally my, uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween poster, which I do have a bunch of signatures on. It's sort of one of those that it's sort of like, it's an ongoing process. I kind of feel like I'm going to spend the rest of my life getting signatures on this thing. And that's it for the Halloween posters. So moving on, next one is uh, and it's sort of an iconic one for me, and that is Happy Birthday to Me. Uh, one of those when I was a kid, Again, that image on the VHS box you know, always stood out to me. Even when I was like really, really young. I didn't see the film until like many years later, but yeah, <laughs> that image. Next one is a sort of comedy film that I absolutely love. I think I mentioned it when I got the Blu-ray and that is for The Hard Way, starring uh, Michael J. Fox and James Woods, directed by John Badham. I absolutely love that film. Uh, managed to get uh, an import Blu-ray of it, I think, last year or sometime, if I remember correctly. And, oh, man, I love the film. I love them. So I was really happy to get the poster for it. Even though it's folded, because I got it, like, super cheap years ago, I do have the poster for Hard Target, which I had mentioned before is actually um, one of my favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme films. Probably my favorite one. Directed by John Woo. I just love the film. Watched it so many times. So I have the poster. And actually, I actually have two different sets of lobby cards. I have the original U.S., uh lobby card set which is very very cool to have and i have the spanish lobby card set which i don't remember when i got <laughs> um but i have it next one uh, is actually one of my favorite uh steven seagal movies and that is for hard to kill which is one i actually got in a lot 
um, kind of thing, but definitely happy it was in there and in really good condition too. The next one is another one I got in a lot and that is for Paul Schrader's Hardcore. Next up, I don't have a one sheet for The Hateful Eight, but I actually do have the uh, Mondo poster that they did uh, around that time, which is cool because the one sheet for The Hateful Eight doesn't really, you see kind of, you know, the main one sheet, you sort of see everyone from behind, but this was cool because you actually got to see all everyone's faces and everything. So I don't know, it's just one I lucked out on and definitely one I'm happy to have. Next up is the 30 by 40 40 of He Knows You're Alone, directed by Armand Mastriani, and this was one I lucked out on, again, got super, super cheap, um, I'm trying to remember, did I get this from Ken at Cinema Wasteland? I may have gotten it from him. Again, I'm just sort of a sucker for 30 by 40s, and again, you know, especially if they're cheap, I, I may just get it, you know, if it's cheap enough. Next up is one of my favorite documentaries on the making of a film, maybe even possibly my favorite, and that is for Hearts of Darkness, the making of Apocalypse Now. If you've never seen it, I really highly recommend it. Next one I got in a lot, but I lucked out, even though it's in kind of rough shape, and that is from Michael Mann's Heat, which is one of my favorite films. And I mean, I would love to get a one in better condition, but they usually are pretty pricey. So at the very least, I have a poster for it. And I did luck out eventually and got a bunch of stills for it. Also, again, kind of cheap. And I do have one of them actually framed in the room, which you'll see in the room tour. Next up is a film I actually spaced on when I was trying to think of movies I wish were on Blu-ray. This is another one, um, and this is for Heaven Help Us, a really funny film, especially if you went to Catholic school. I actually went to a Catholic grammar school, so uh, <laughs> I could relate to a couple things as far as, you know, a couple strict things. Not to the extreme in the movie, but, you know, still. But it's a really, really funny movie um, kind of thing, and also kind of touching as well. Definitely one I recommend checking out. Next one is for the animated classic film Heavy Metal. Next one I'm super happy to have and that is for Hell Knight. Really really excited when I finally got this poster and what's even cooler is that it is tri-folded. So what that means is, uh, so obviously it's not rolled, but tri-folded means it's only folded three times and not folded in the center. I have a couple tri-folded posters and those are a little bit harder to come by. It's definitely a big deal when I find, find one, especially for posters that are normally fully folded. Next one is for Clive Barker's classic Hellraiser. Have to have a Hellraiser poster. And the next one is for Hellraiser 2 and I do have a bunch of signatures on it. I still want to get a lot more but at least I have like I think all of the main Cenobites like Ashley Lawrence I have Clive Barker on there. I'd like to get a few more signatures on it at some point especially from some of the other cast members so fingers crossed. And the next one I got is Hellraiser 3 because uh, I've found one like super cheap and figured like you know what I uh, try not to fill like a full collection by at least one of the first three movies. Next one is a cool one that I got from a guy. It's the French poster for Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. And it is, one, it's huge, and two, it was signed by Michael Rooker. And when I, I met director John McNaughton uh, twice now, three times, three times now, and I brought it with me uh, one of those times to have him sign it. And, and when I unfolded, he looked at it, he was like, I don't even have this. Like he was like really blown away. So that was, that was that was a cool moment. Next up is for the movie The Hidden. Just a really really cool film and sort of again kind of one of those that sort of has a bit of an iconic cover because you know I remember it from the VHS. Next up is one of my favorite Mel Brooks films and that is High Anxiety. I don't know. Even looking at the poster, it just makes me laugh. <laughs> Next one is for the Wes Craven classic, The Hills Have Eyes. This was one I really, really lucked out on. It was one I wanted for a while, but every time I saw it, it was just like, it's just, just too expensive. And then I finally found one and uh, managed to get a, a good deal on it. So happy to have it in the collection. Next up for one of my other favorite Mel Brooks films, and that is History of the World Part 1. Absolutely love the poster artwork because it's just like insane. There's like so much going on, on on it. Next one is for The Horror Show, which I just love that sort of stark kind of just, you know, black poster with just the, the white outline of, uh, of him. Next one may take a little bit of explaining and that is for the film Hot Honey. So yes, it's an adult film. Um, it's directed by Billy Bag. Now Billy Bag is actually William Lustig, filmmaker who did Maniac uh, Vigilante, Maniac Cop, runs Blue Underground. He first got started actually making adult films and he used the pseudonym of Billy Bag. He specifically made two films um, and Hot Honey was uh, one of them. And the money that he made from doing the two films is what he put into Making Maniac. So just a little trivia for you. But that's actually why I have, I have the poster actually for both of the adult films uh, that he made. The other one you'll see coming up in a future letter. Luckily I can show them. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're not overly graphic. Next up is for the movie House. I love the movie House. The poster really, really actually means a lot to me. I was really glad when I finally got, got one. Next up is one I was really happy to get because you don't find them that often, and that is actually for Lucio Fulci's uh, The House by the Cemetery from the US release. Next up is for the Vincent Price House of Wax. This is from the early 80s re-release, uh, which has that really, really cool cover for it. I mean, if I could ever get an original House of Wax poster and not pay a small fortune for it, that would be pretty awesome too. Next up is for the Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee film, The House That Drip Blood. Next one is for Joe Dante's classic, The Howling, probably my second favorite werewolf film behind American Werewolf in London. I mean, again, that poster art is just incredible. And I also have Howling 2, because you can't have Howling and without Howling 2. Apparently, that's my thinking. <laughs> And then finally finishing up with the H's and that is for the Coen Brothers film, The Hutsucker Proxy. This is actually one of my favorite Coen Brothers films. I think is absolutely hilarious. I remember the first time I watched it with a buddy of mine we were oh god we were just laughing through the whole thing specifically there was one there's one moment in the film where it's just like a slow motion shot um, of like a kid he's got a hula hoop around his neck and this little kid he's just doing this the hula oh god I, I remember the two of us literally like i think we fell out of our chairs for some reason we were laughing so hard and we were sober it's not like we were you know on something <laughs> you know it's like oh we i just absolutely love hot sucker proxy so that's it those are my posters for the letter h definitely let me know your thoughts and which ones you think i should probably keep or uh, sell off at some point obviously some of them i definitely plan on keeping and obviously if you have any questions about any of them uh definitely let me know so keep an eye out for the next one which will cover uh the eyes in my collection because the eyes have it. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.